What's good YouTube? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today I have a quick video for you guys. Wanted to talk about Jalen Green. Wanted to talk about Jalen Green because he returned to the Houston Rockets lineup the other night. He missed a good amount of time due to a hamstring injury and played pretty well in his return to Houston uh, the other night. But overall on his rookie season, he's been a, a bit of a disappointment for people who had high expectations for him coming into the season. He's had some moments of really high play where he had uh, really good nights and, and looked good. And then he's had nights where he's really struggled and looked not like the prospect I think a lot of us thought he would be heading into the draft. And so in this video, kind of want to just touch on that, touch on his season so far, where expectations should be for him heading forward. And then wanted to touch a little bit on the G League Ignite and if that was a good thing for his career. And so wanted to talk about that in today's video. But more importantly, wanted to hear what you guys have to say about it. So leave your thoughts down in the comment section below. And with that being said, let's get into the video. So like I said in the intro, Jalen returned to the lineup the other night against Indiana and he actually played pretty well. It didn't look like that injury had really any impact on his game. He finished with 20 points, 50% uh, from the floor and just played, played well. Looked like the prospect I think a lot of us thought he was. But overall on the season, uh, Jalen has been a bit of a disappointment. I know based on a lot of the pre-draft stuff that I posted on Jalen, a lot of his fans were very vocal in the comments of those videos and they had high expectations for him. I mean, he was getting compared everything from MJ to Kobe to you name the legend. That's where a lot of the people that I was interacting with, at least on our videos, were putting him in those categories. And so far throughout the year, he just hasn't been even close to that or looking like he could be that type of player. Uh, and the big thing with him has just been the inefficiency from the floor and the inconsistency in his game. Uh, he's only shooting about 38% from the floor and 30% from three. And so the three ball was kind of the big question with Jalen heading into the draft. I think he shot the ball pretty well in the G League bubble uh, with the Ignite team. I think he was close to 40%. I said ultimately I think he's gonna be a streaky shooter and his percentages would average out to about 36%. And so far in his rookie year, it's only been about 30%. And so that's not good. That's something that's gonna definitely have to improve and he's gonna have to get better at. And I think as he rounds out that part of his game and kind of figures out the offensive side of the ball, he'll become a more efficient player and get to his spots a little better and just overall shoot a better percentage from the floor and from the three point line. But so far it's been, it's been a struggle for Jalen. And I just think the big thing with Jalen so far has been the inconsistencies in his game and the up and downs that he'll have. And the highs, the highs have been pretty high, but the lows have also looked probably a lot lower than I think a lot of people would like to admit or like to have thought that they would be for him. I think that a lot of people thought that he was a really pro ready player, someone who could step into the NBA and be a, a high level player pretty early in his career. I was someone who thought that he could easily, you know, step into Houston and average 20 plus points per game. And then I thought eventually he would get to the point where he would be someone who could lead the league in scoring. And I don't think that that's like impossible for him. He's still averaging 14 points a game. But right now, like I said, it's just not looking like he's going to be someone who is going to be that rookie of the year type player and something that is to just keep an eye on is these injuries. I know he missed uh, some time in summer league. I think they shut him down for summer league uh, due to a hamstring injury. And now he's missed uh, a good amount of time here this NBA season uh, with an injury as well. And so with someone that athletic, someone that attacks the basket like Jalen does, that's something just keep an eye on, especially if it's some of these uh, soft tissue injuries like a hamstring or whatever. Uh, sometimes they can linger and sometimes they just kind of nag a player not only for a season but kind of throughout their career and so I think that's something to to keep an eye on uh, just be aware of uh, because I wouldn't be shocked I guess necessarily if he's someone who just keeps getting these these types of injuries it's like I said it's just something that it seems like once you get it it's hard for it to go away 
And then lastly, I just kind of wanted to touch on the G League Ignite experience for Jalen. I think that was a good thing for his brand and his game and just kind of all that, I guess, roll into one. First touching with his game and if it was good for his development and his transition to the NBA. And I thought the benefit of the G League Ignite team, other than just being able to make money, would be that players from there would come into the NBA ready and they would hit the ground running a lot better than players that went to college. I thought that just having the experience of playing a higher level competition in the G League, getting used to being around pros, a pro system, being a pro off the court, I thought that would really translate to the NBA and help players like that. And I thought Jalen Green would be a good case of it. I thought, like I said, he would come in and be averaging 20 points a game. And so far, it just doesn't look like that is the case. And so I would argue, you know, was that year worth it of getting that experience if it doesn't really help necessarily uh, coming into the NBA? Because I think ultimately they're going to reach, a player would reach the same level whether they went to college or the G League. It's just a matter of how good I guess they would start out in the NBA. And like I said, so far Jalen hasn't had the greatest start in the NBA. And then you factor into the decision that the G League doesn't really get you exposure. It doesn't help you build your brand. I know Jalen Green did a good job of that in high school of building the Jalen Green brand and getting his name out there. And he was, he was featured everywhere on YouTube. And if you follow high school basketball, you knew who Jalen Green was. But for the casual basketball fan, uh, going to the G League I think was a bad decision. Someone like Jalen Suggs and having that moment in the NCAA tournament, uh, hitting that shot against UCLA, that was huge for him. I know, you know casual basketball fans knew the name Jalen Suggs after that. They didn't really know who Jalen Green was heading into the draft. It was just kind of this guy who, who played in the G League and never really got his name out there. And so I think that's something that players in the future are going to have to factor in with going to the G League. Uh, it's not necessarily going to going to build your brand. You're not playing in front of a, a alumni base of Duke or Gonzaga or UCLA or whatever. Uh, you're going to more be just known by the hardcore basketball fans that have followed these players since they were in high school. And so I think that was kind of uh, a mistake in a sense, uh, but it is what it is at this point. But those are just kind of my thoughts on Jalen Green so far. Kind of a disappointing rookie season. Hopefully he comes back from this injury and continues to play like he did against Indiana. Leave your thoughts down in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of his game and his rookie season so far. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and I'll talk to you guys later.